I know you fight a 160, but would you want the winner of Mayweather Pacquiao if they met you a 54? Absolutely. Absolutely. Nadi, what do you say to Andre Ward that says that you're ducking him? No, Andre Ward is too much for me, not today. It's, you know, Andre and this Andre, it's me, it's me. Can you go up to 68? Yeah, I can. But you could go down to 54. Yesterday, after training, I'm 162. 165 in two weeks. No, just for me, it's easy. 154 and 168. You know, I don't know. I, I just think that they didn't prepare right for that. I don't think they studied right for that. But um, it was a great fight, you know. Um, Congratulations to b -Bow. You know, he did what he had to do. Um, he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. He's really good. I would like to get a shot at him in the future, in the future, in the future, in the future. Gives you the most issues, man. Would it be Canelo? Would it be b -Bow? Just, you know, styles make fights, man. I mean, to be honest, I, I don't know because when I sparred b -Bow, he didn't really give me too much issues and I sparred him a lot. I've never sparred Canelo, so I can't compare because I don't know the styles firsthand. I, I, I know Canelo's style from TV, but it's different from from being in there. Yeah. But I mean, uh, to be honest with Bivol, I mean, it was, it was a good sparring session, but maybe, be, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But it would be, there'd be two good fights. So look out for a giveaway coming soon. Okay, last thing. Ideal 2024 breakdown of three fights you would love to have. Uh, Canelo first, and then go up to 75, beat Bivol, and then maybe better BF. I think, uh, I don't think, I know that's possible. Um, <laughs> And I can accomplish that, so. And what happens in those three fights? I beat all of them. I beat all of them. I find ways to win. That's what makes me so dangerous. I could break down any type of style. You see me break down people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. so that left you with Gilberto Zerdo Ramirez, who you sparred with. This is interesting. You are a very easygoing individual. You seemed a little irritated that they kept bringing up the sparring. Did that motivate you at all? You know, uh, every my sparring partners has a success mm -hmm. in sparring against me, with me. <laughs> everyone, ask everyone who sparred with me. If he said uh, I had success in sparring with Dmitry, I said, yeah, of yeah. course, he, he had success. And because sparring for me, it's it's not a fight. Right? It's different. It's practice. It's practicing. Some sparrings I just want to do, you know, a lot of jabs, not mm -hmm. not use uh, right, right hand, hand, you know. Some sparrings I just want to move forward, try to move forward. Or I, I just practicing, you know. It, and sometimes uh, I can do something, but sometimes... Uh, I get not success. Dimitri, I found it. Who, who's probably the number one guy that you're willing to be like, okay, Canelo fight doesn't happen. Let me get a Charlo. Let me get a David Morrell. David Morrell has been calling out Benavidez for a really long time. So what do you think? The only one is Morrell. Mm. The fight that people want to see after, if it doesn't happen, Canelo. Not even Dimitri? Uh, Charlo, the two brothers, my dear friends. <laughs> Every time I see him, I hug him because... I love it, yeah. both of them. But two years in activity, it will be not fair for Benavides to fight in this moment, either one. Gotcha. What about um Demetrius Andrade? He he will not sell a seat. <laughs> a seat? It won't sell a single seat. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I because his uh, his attitude is so bad that that nobody cared for him. Mm. Uh, and, and we're talking about pay-per-view. Yeah. You know, I, you know, sometimes maybe it doesn't have the right people <laughs> with, with, with them from the beginning to build this career. Maybe they didn't have an advisor. Uh, sometimes it's uh, the father because love and cared and doesn't know the business how to build a career not only winning if not uh, uh, advertise the how good he can be his fighter in the case of uh, boo boo the only thing he wants is to win yeah he doesn't care if 
people doesn't like it. He won the W on him. He doesn't want to take chance. Even though the last fight, he tried to, you know, push a little bit and change the style. Mm -hmm. But doesn't mean that with one fight, he can get the love of the people to pay to see him. I got Flacco 38 from California. What fight you think made Boo Boo a great or good fighter before facing David? Um, I you know I, I don't know, man. They never gave him the opportunity to to fight somebody legit, somebody good. You know, it, Canelo didn't want to fight him. The Charles didn't want to fight him. So I believe that he never got the opportunity. That's why when they said Boo Boo. You know, I thought it was a great fight because he never got the opportunity and people never really gave us the opportunity to fight. So we needed that fight. Both of them needed this fight. So I think uh, he didn't have the opportunity until David came and, and David came uh, stronger than him.